rhinoceros has been living since the ancient time and they had evolved to adapt the surrounding nature. The rhinoceros we all know right now is the generation that developed the variation throughout the longest process. These are the evolutionary of the rhinoceros. Megaserops Brontotherium Embolotherium Rhinotitan Teleoceros Chilotherium Diceratherium Paraceratherium Elasmotherium Coelodonta and the rhinoceros present day. There are five living species make up of the rhinocerotidae family. Black rhinos and white rhinos live in sub Saharan Africa. The other three species live in Asia Suma Sumatran rhinos, Javan rhinos, and Indian rhinos. There are many characteristics that uh, have in the rhinos, such as have a massive size, thick skin, and the iconic horn. White rhinos and black rhinos live in grassland and flat plains of eastern and southern Africa. Greater one horned rhinos can be found in the swamps and rainforests of northern India and southern Nepal. Sumatran and Java rhinos are found only in small areas of Malaysia and Indonesian swamps and rainforests. Rhinoceros are herbivore, which means they eat only vegetation. The type of vegetation they eat varies by species. This is because their snouts are different shapes to accommodate the different type of food, according to National Geographic. For example, the black rhinos eat tree or bushes because its long lips allow it to pick leaves and fruits from the up height. The white rhino has a plate-shaped snout that lets it get closer to the ground for eating grass.
The Sumatran rhinoceros is now extinct in Malaysia. The country's last female rhino, which named Iman, died of cancer in November 2019. Malaysian officially reported Tam, Malaysia's last male rhino, died in May. The species is down about 80 individuals, all living in Indonesia. Tom was discovered poking around an oil palm plantation in 2008. He was captured and transferred to the Tabin Wildlife Reserve in the state of Sabah. Efforts to bring him with two female rhinos, Puntung captured in 2011 and Iman captured in 2014, proved unsuccessful. However, Puntung was euthanized in 2007 due to cancer. Tam's condition had been steadily declining since late April, when his appetite and alertness declined. This, after Tam's death, urine tests revealed that the rhino's kidneys and perhaps other organs had failed. Iman was given the very best care and attention since her capture in 2014. The female rhino was estimated to be about 25 years old died in November at the Borneo Rhino Sanctuary in Tembi Wildlife Reserve, Sabah. She had cancer, which was starting to cause her considerable pain because a tumor was putting pressure on her bladder. Sumatran rhinos are so few, in fact, as personal isolation is the single biggest threat to the species' continued existence. This is because females of this species can develop cysts and fibroids in their reproductive tracts if they go too long without me. There are a few factors why the rhinoceros ride lesser day by day until it will extinct one day. The factors also will affect the breeding process of rhinoceros rhino. The main cause of extinction of the rhinoceros rhino is believed to be because of the destruction of forests affecting their natural habitat. In addition, the logging, hunting, and number of species that remain apart from each other make it difficult to reproduce the rhinoceros rhino. The effect of this extinction are devastating to the entire world. Other than that, the process of breeding rhinos is very challenging. It is difficult because the population of male and female rhinos is unbalanced for mating. For example, there are older male rhinos and two younger female rhinos. So the process of breeding is hard when the rhinos have different ages. If the female rhinos didn't get pregnant for a long time, the breeding channel will have a problem and the breeding process cannot be done. Today, we should be aware of our weight life, especially rhinoceros, because it become extinct nowadays. The first thing that we should save our weight life is we should educate our family about endangered species in our own area or, or another country. It's not just about the Sumatran rhinoceros in Malaysia, but it's about the, all our ecosystem in your own backyard. Teach your friend, teach your student, teach your family or about our wetland. Second, black out the black market. Sometimes when we travel, we don't realize that the souvenir that we are buying is under the tree. Avoid supporting the market in illegal wetland, including the turtle shell, ivory, corals, horn, and tusk. Okay, the third. Herbicide and pesticide are hazardous pollution that affect our wetland at many levels. These chemicals take a long time to degrade and break out in the soil before disseminating throughout the food chain. Okay, 
Therefore, volunteer our time to protect the wildlife, at least in our own area. Wildlife refuge park and the other place are often unfunded and desperate for help. Volunteering at one of these places to protect the animal might mean just educating visitors or picking out litter. Okay, the last, recycle and buy substance product. Much of what treating local pollution has to do with development and more. And more of the natural world is harder to product new goods. Never buy furniture made of wood from rainforests or endangered trees. So from that, we should educate ourselves, our community to be good manner as humans.